All right, folks, I'm here with 11-time and defending WXC GNCC champion Tracy Pickens. And uh, Tracy, after your first season with GBC Motorsports, wrapping up that 11th championship, uh, how does it feel to be back here in Florida starting off your, uh, we won't say how many seasons of GNCC racing this is because you are only 29 years old, but uh, how, how does it feel to be back here starting it all over again? You know, it actually feels good. Did I have the opportunity to come back out again? Uh, with great sponsors like GBC, I'm able to come out here and, you know, defend my title. And, you know, I'm going to make these girls work really hard to earn uh, championships. So it's going to be a great day of racing tomorrow. So with the season starting tomorrow, uh, it will be not only your multiple times starting that you start off the new season, but it'll be JP here's first season starting off a full season of micro racing. How does it feel after all these years to be back here and now being a race mom and having your son going to the starting line for his first, first full season as a micro racer? Oh, I am so nervous for him. <laughs> I, I'm trying not to be nervous for him, but uh, we tried to give him all the skills that we could teach him at home, what he might encounter, and I just hopefully, you know, my goal for him is to get around the track safe. If he comes back safe and doesn't hit any trees or any palmettos out there, I know I'll be a real happy mom. So we've got mom chasing another championship in the WXC class. We've got JP in the micro class out there getting some experience and who knows, maybe chasing a championship. And then we got big Papa P over here. Jeff, Jeff, come on over here. So this folks is officially a racing family. Uh, Jeff Pickens, last year's Vet A class champion. And we've got the entire Pickens family now out here representing GBC, not only in the adult products, but we've got our mini master here, mini master JP on the mini master ATV tires. So Jeff, you know, another championship for you last year. Uh, we were just talking to Tracy about what it feels like to have now JP obviously raced one race last year, but now going out full time racing the full micro series this year. I know it was a busy winter for you, a lot of bike work. How does it feel that it all gets started tomorrow? Well, a little nervous. Obviously, I heard Tracy say that over here. Um, JP has a much faster bike now and uh, he has no fear. So um, just hoping he doesn't hit anything and keeps it on the track and actually hoping he he likes this sport. Uh, that's kind of the excitement behind it, I think. We're, uh, we're definitely a GNCC family, so uh, we're hoping he takes to it and, and enjoys it. Folks, you've never met a family that bleeds GNCC like these guys here. They met and got married because of GNCC racing. Little JP here, now starting as a micro racer. We got the Mini Master products and all the GBC line of products showcased by the Pickens family, and uh, racing action gets started tomorrow. You work uh, closely with GBC, Corey Ellis, and a lot of different guys over the last few years. But it's so good to finally see GBC here on Vendors Road. Yeah, absolutely. We're excited to be here. Uh, it's been a long time in the making. Uh, obviously, GNCC is the world's premier off-road racing series, and uh, we consider ourselves one of the premier off-road uh, manufacturers of tires. And uh, it's, it's been a long time in the making. We've wanted to be a part of this for many of the years. And now that the opportunity has presented itself, we're uh, pumped to be on board for the next year. Uh, tomorrow will be my 25th season start in XC1 race, so that's pretty exciting for me. Uh, I guess it's my silver anniversary is what they call it. So uh, pretty pumped on that. And, uh, you know, never would have uh, never would have thought all those years ago the first time I went to the starting line. And I guess it would have been Ocala at Hard Rock for my first XC1 race all those years ago. Only one guy's going to win tomorrow, and only one guy's going to win on Sunday. And uh, as much as I would like to be that guy, I am going to be very realistic and say that uh, I'm here to battle for a top five. And uh, if the win presents itself, I'm surely going to go for it. So the offseason was going well. Uh, I took some time off after Ironman and after our fourth championship. Uh, recuperated, got healthy, and uh, made sure that we, when I came back I was having fun again. That's uh, the most important thing is just having fun. And if you ride your four-wheeler every single day, it starts to be not fun. So, uh, like I said, we regrouped over the winter and got back down here in South Florida and Lake Placid and just started pounding laps. And um, obviously, coming into this race, I was feeling pretty strong, feeling confident. Uh, my GBC tires were working awesome all year last year and all winter long, so that was uh, nothing to be a concern about. That's one worry I don't have to have. My tires are always fantastic. And uh, obviously, coming into this race, wanted to get a good start. We were able to get uh, some jumping going too long. You know, going from eighth to uh, you know over a minute lead uh, at the checkered flag was really awesome. So I'm hoping the rest of the season we can just uh, stay consistent. I'm not looking to win every race, but consistency is key to winning championships. And um, you know, like I said, my GBC tires are the most consistent thing on my bike. In uh, the off season, we've I really solely tried to focus on riding. You know, we just. I did riding before anything, you know, just ride, ride, ride. If I felt good, you know, we worked out after, but you know, the, the sole focus was just getting that seat time in this season and 
you know, I started this uh, this year healthy for once, and you know, it seemed the show. Uh, the track was very rough, but uh, you know, the, the GBC tires hooked up well. You know, we buried it in a mud hole, and you know, the, the tires hooked up and got us out. And you know, it, it was one rough track, but you know, we, we prepared us. I prepared myself as best as I could coming into this race, and uh, you know, the bike handled flawlessly. Luckily, you know, the hands are good. You know, typical Florida likes to, you know, give us blisters. But, uh, you know, my main focus was to get through this race with a good finish and end up on the podium, which we did. Uh, I'll take a second, but I'm really looking forward to getting in the dirt. And, uh